Michael Groff here back with another Webflow tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to download your Webflow site or export it is how Webflow calls it so that you can go and host your Webflow site elsewhere. Also stick around because at the end of this video I'm going to be showing you where you can actually host your Webflow site for free and it comes with custom domains, um, SSL certificates, the whole nine yards and stick around for that if you're interested in that. But without any further ado, let's get right into it. So you first off want to make sure you're in the Webflow designer and up here in the corner you see this little code icon simply click on that and you have the option to export all your code now if you're not seeing this you will need a paid webflow workspace not a site plan a workspace and then you can export the code basically if you just want to export the code and go host it elsewhere you can pay for one month export it and then cancel your subscription but you will need a site uh, workspace plan for this once you're here you have the html CSS, JavaScript, and assets. You simply go under HTML. I think it's gonna export all of this anyway. I just always stick on the HTML tag and you simply prepare the zip. Now, depending on how large your site will take, this might take a little bit. The site's pretty small, so it already finished. You then wanna click on download zip and it's gonna download it as a zip file. Now, I'm just gonna quick open this real quick and you're gonna see with it open, we have a CSS file, images, index.html, JS for JavaScript, and uh, this other HTML for the other page. And you can open these up in your favorite code editor and the code will completely will all be there. Now, this next part of the video, if you're interested, I'm gonna show you where you can actually upload this custom code that you just exported and host it for free. So you literally want to go to just Netlify dot com and create an account I already have an account so I'm just gonna log in you're gonna be presented with this page and you should be able to see all this right here I'm on team overview you can also go to sites I'm gonna go on the sites tab it's a little bit easier and over here you just click on add a new site and deploy manually from here you're just gonna drag that zip file I think this is what it was drag it in there Guess we have to line it up, <laughs> drag it in there, and it's gonna automatically start uploading the site. Now, I'm just gonna quick refresh this. Sometimes it can take a little bit, and it automatically is available on this um, default domain. So there you go, this is, let me go see my Webflow one. You're gonna see this is fitnessillustrations.webflow.io, and if I go here, it is that new link by Netlify. Obviously, that's a pretty disgusting link. You can just click right here and add a custom domain. It's self-explanatory. If you've added a domain elsewhere before, you should be able to do it here. And then it automatically comes with HTTPS, which is perfect if you're just wanting to host a very basic site. So I hope that was helpful. If it was, feel free to hit the like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Also, I'm a Webflow developer and a Webflow consultant. So if you need help with those things, feel free to visit the links in the description. But I hope you have an amazing day.